Uh, there's a video of a horizontal chop for a nuclear grade 3 uh, cataract and in a highly myopic patient. Starting the side ports, uh, I do these first, then the main wound here with the keratome, it's a uniplanar incision. Uh, this is under topic anesthesia, so intracameral uh, AP sugar cane. And at, at that point, it, uh, it's good to tell the patients that it stings a little bit. Now, viscoelastic is coming, and I use the um, Steve Arshinov's gel with dispersive viscoelastic first to the cornea, then cohesive viscoelastic underneath to fill the NDA chamber. Some inefficiency here, trying to locate um, the <laughs> capsule rexus forceps. We found it. Now the cornea is a bit dry, so washing the cornea. Now back with the forceps. And that's um, the technique here. We start in the center. We do the first uh, 90 degree, then re-grasp. This is a perfect position. Just continue and curl. And um, now grasp. I should have refinished here. But again, a little bit of inefficiency and regrasping in a place which is not very ergonomic. And as you can see, some burbing of vasculastic, but finishing off. Now, hydrosection going under the rexus for a good distance, lifting the tip and dropping the heel. This side did not go well. The other side uh, goes well. We have a complete wave. Press on the lens and then rotate, and the lens is rotating. Now opening the wound with the second instrument and getting the phaco in. And there's a horizontal chop scoring the lens, then uh, dividing it. And another chop here. And then getting the chopped uh, fragment out. Now there's a small part of the nucleus now, so just taking it out. Rotation and working on the other hemi-nucleus. For some reason here I cannot grasp it and I'm consuming it and I don't want this to happen, so I'm trying to get a good grasp on it. Rotating again, got a good grasp here. Again, it's tumbling and I'm consuming it, and I don't want that to happen because you want to grasp it, get it away from the capsule, then chop it. Again, so I'm just trying to grasp in a bulky area, successful now. And now um, I like to get it to stand up and chop what, com what comes up like I'm doing here. And now it's getting easier. And then the last quadrant, I always uh, look at the amount of leakage from the side port. Now that all will stop when I take the second instrument out. So the last quadrant I like to work single-handed. The iris, the iris here is thinking of prolapsing, uh, but it did not. Uh, bimanual uh, irrigation aspiration. A slight inefficiency here because I'm not able to get big chunks. The way to get big chunks is to do uh, transverse or horizontal movements as you grasp the cortex. It's getting better on this, uh, getting better now. Now switching hands and going to the other side.
I'm trying to be more efficient and work on removing bigger chunks, which is working better. And then the last piece of uh, cortex here. Now provisc to fill the capsular bag. And the rest is pushing the lens. So I'm using a wound assisted technique. So my advice is to push against the cornea until the lens is half the way and then you can relax and see where the lens is going. Now using the bimanual irrigation aspiration uh, system as second instruments to get the lens in the bag. And removing the viscoelastic from the anti chamber. And finally, wound hydration. this I check the pressure with the tunnel pen at the end so I don't need to see them in the first post-operative day. Thank you so much for watching.